Let's dig into the pill a little bit more. I mean, this is big. This is really big because so many people are on it, in fact, routinely. And from the age of about 12, if there's anything that goes wrong, you get put on the pill straight away. And sometimes until you decide you want to have a baby 15 years later, and then you realize what the hormonal problems have been that have been sort of quieting down. I don't think it's a good idea. I love that it's available. And if it works for you, that's great. But yeah. when we are prescribed it, we're sold this dream that it's just a cure-all for women. And the only real side effects to be concerned of are very real things like breast cancer or if you have a history of a stroke, maybe a certain type isn't right yeah. for you. But they don't tell you the impact that it's having on your gut microbiome and how it's like a low-dose antibiotic that you're taking every day. They don't tell you how it depletes the key nutrients that you need to have good, healthy hormone levels. Uh, the mental health connection and how the progesterone-only pill particularly is very linked to depression and anxiety, but it's mm. just as problematic. People just go on the pill, stop to have kids, and sometimes it takes them, when they're 35, then years to get the cycle back. And then there's this whole time pressure and they feel really stressed. So if someone is on the pill, I would say give yourself as much time as possible to come off and kind of detox from that and repair the damage, so to speak, that's been done. And that can take a couple of years for this preconception 